Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. DigiCode Productions, welcome wherever you are in the world. Now, um, technical stuff about the world banking system. Um, it's quite interesting. Um, there is a system which is called SWIFT. Um, this system governs governments and banks' access to US dollar currency. Um, it's the next step for the United States and North Korea over sanctions. Um, at the moment, the SWIFT system has been shut off to the North Koreans, um, which will have a further effect on their ability to bring in things like coal and oil and other such essential things, not to mention food. Um, now, the SWIFT system is kind of a double-edged sword. It switches everything off dollar-wise from either end of the perspective. So, uh, the next logical step would be for the Chinese to switch off all SWIFT banking for North Korea. Now, what that would mean is that the North Koreans would not be able to get US dollar currency and therefore would not be able to buy oil. Accordingly, they would not be able to buy food, oil or plutonium. Um, now, I'm hoping it doesn't come to this uh, because nobody particularly wants to see another nation go down the road of starvation. Um, it's a nasty way to go and let's face it, we in Ireland experienced two massive famines, which were simply horrific, nearly devastated our country for all time. Um, but I do have to say, somebody has to get everybody around the table. Uh, and the last time this happened, which was in 2003, within three days, everybody was sitting round the table, including the North Koreans. So, I uh, hope it doesn't come to it, but there are further sanctions, financial ones, that are available to the United States that may bring things to a head quite quickly. Thank you very much.